This is a mouse lemur. It's the smallest primate on Earth, the most abundant other than humans, and it's adorable. But could it also be an important animal for the study of genetics, even rivaling the common lab mouse? Mouse lemurs are found all over Madagascar. Like mice, mouse lemurs are small, have short generation times, and bear relatively large numbers of offspring, which is useful for research. But as primates, they have an added bonus of being much more closely related to humans. Biochemist Mark Krasno from Stanford University believes this is a winning combination. He says that mouse lemurs' lab-friendly characteristics, combined with their relatedness to humans, could allow scientists to use them to ask questions about health, behavior, and genetics, which simply couldn't be done with other animals. But there's a catch. Classic genetic techniques, like gene knockouts, are difficult to do in primates, owing to strict ethical guidelines. So Krasno needed a different approach. His work is based here, in Ranamathana National Park, Madagascar. Wild mouse lemurs have been captured and released here for ecological studies for years. Mark wondered, could he use the same techniques to start building a genetic database of wild mouse lemurs? With enough data, he could search for natural genetic variations associated with physical characteristics like disease. Instead of creating mutations to study genetics, he would just look for them in a wild population. For an approach like this to work, Krasno needed lots of data, and that takes a lot of time and effort. So he came up with a plan. He enlisted local Malagasy people to help. Under the watchful eye of his team, Malagasy graduate students were taught how to capture mouse lemurs using traps baited with banana. He's also extending this training to high school students in the hopes that one day thousands of lemurs could be captured and documented by local people in their own backyard. After being captured, the lemurs go through a sort of boot camp where scientists measure everything from their strength to their gait. Then they take tiny tissue and blood samples for genetic sequencing, microchip the lemurs for identification and release them back onto the exact branch where they were captured. Krasno and his team say they've already found a whole host of naturally occurring mutations, linked to diabetes, progressive eye disease, obesity, and all without any invasive testing. By combining ecological field techniques with advanced sequencing and citizen science, Mark hopes to build the mouse lemur into a leading model organism, a living genetic library running wild in the forests of Madagascar. But there's still a long way to go. Existing models, including primate models like macaques and baboons, aren't going anywhere soon. So much is already known about them in lab studies. And some researchers have pointed out that if you want to study natural genetic variation, then why not just use humans? But Krasno is still confident, and time will tell if these adorable little critters will help bring his vision to life.